Hi, I'm Stella from Coverage Book. I'm going to be taking you through the tool today and I'm going to show you how you can add in your clips, how you can build reports within minutes, how you can share them with your stakeholders, customize them, make them on brand. And I'm also going to show you how you can draw out some insights from past clips so to help you with your end of year reports and updating the important people. So let's get started. This is the front page of Coverage Book, uh, which you've probably already seen before. If you haven't done so already, I recommend you sign up for a free trial if you're not a customer already. Uh, the free trials last for a month. You don't have to add in any credit card details. You literally just pop in your email address um, and then you're in. So you'll probably know by now that we're not a monitoring tool. We're not a monitoring service, so it's very different. We are just a reporting tool. So once you're in, whether you're a customer or a free trial, um, you will have a look and your screen will look like this. This is actually my account, so these are my clients on the left and my reports on the right. Um, and we're in the My Books view. We've also got a section called My Insights, which is pretty cool, but I'm gonna take you through that in a bit more detail later on. Um, it's all of the clips I've ever added into Coverage Book, so I'm going to show you how you can draw some insights out of them in your own account. But back to the report section, um, I recommend you invite your team members in. You can do that in a free trial as well as a paid account. Literally just put their email address in and they will get an invite in. There's no limit on how many people you can have in, so definitely do that. Um, we can also have a really good uh, chat with David. <laughs> David is our brilliant customer support. He's um, online, um, normal office hours at UK time. Um, but if you are outside the UK, just drop a note. If it's outside our hours, we'll get back to you. Let's get started with a report. So um, I'm going to use Adidas as my example client today. Um, and I'm gonna add in some online coverage, first of all. You can add in social posts, online articles, all sorts of different types of links. They can be shortened links. They could be linked straight from Google if that's how you collate your coverage. You just paste them into this box and we'll do the rest. So I've done that here. This has shown me that I've actually uh, doubled up on one of the links. can easily happen, especially for me. <laughs> so uh, that's good. I didn't want to add it twice, so I've just deleted that out. We're in the edit section of Coverage Book now. And what the tool has done already, what was that, a few seconds? Uh, we've pulled in all of the coverage from the 14 links that I added. We've got the images there, we've got metrics on those clips and those sites. I'm going to talk you through all the metrics shortly. Um, but now, I mean, that was very quick. We do have a report that we could send straight away. Obviously, we need to edit it, don't we? So this is the front cover, and you're going to want to make that on brand. I'm going to change the title to make it relevant to my campaign, which is about the launch of a football boot, um, which is for Adidas. You can change the colours of the text. You can also put um, boxes of colour around the text as well, if that works for your kind of design. Um, it's up to you how much detail you put in. I'm keeping it brief for this one. Also, the front cover, if you don't change the background, which I'm about to do, uh, we have this sort of montage of the coverage, which you could keep. But I recommend you change the colour or add an image, as I'm doing right now. If you're adding an image, make sure it's not too busy. Um, just, I mean, I don't have the best eye for design, but I do know that if you have a cleaner background, your coverage will stand out. That's where the attention is going to be, and that's what you want for your clients. So I'm choosing a black and white cloudy goal, but actually it's going to look quite good, I think, with the coverage. There you go. Logo stood out. Monthly clips. Bam, straight into the metrics there. So we've got 14 pieces of coverage. I've got all of my uh, big sort of DA figures, which I'll talk you through. This is brilliant, it's a link checker. So Adidas is my client. I've popped in the website there, adidas.co.uk. Scan the coverage and there's a link in my coverage. Brilliant. Now I didn't have to do that manually and my clients can see that, which is great. Um, we're now just going to go through some of the pieces of coverage and I want to talk through the metrics with you. So we use a service called SimilarWeb. Um, they're external, you can check them out. Um, they are brilliant at putting in estimates of monthly traffic figures. They're the most accurate that we've found through our own research. So that's the first metric that you can see at the top there. We know that 93 million people didn't go and see your piece of coverage though. 
So what we do is then take an estimation of how many people within that total would have reached that page. Um, we've got a big explanation of how we do that in our FAQs. Do check it out, but it's a, it's an estimation. So and it's it's quite accurate actually with some of our testing. We also have domain authority again it's from an external service called Moz M O Z dot com. If you want to find out more, that looks at how influential this website is. It's a score out of a hundred, so ninety three out of a hundred is really strong. You'll also see. Um, if this article has been shared on social uh, channels, you'll see a small icon uh, with a number and that is how many times it's been shared on that platform. What I'm doing right now is just added in some notes. This will be visible to your clients. So I'm just saying here that there's been a spokesperson quote in this piece of coverage. Also, that means that that is searchable later on. I'll show you that and um, I'll come back to that point. So we've got the metrics for our online articles, I now want to add in some offline coverage because we've got a nice print piece for this as well. So for print, you, you need to upload the scans. Um, so I'm uploading a 442 uh, front cover here. Um, you can upload that from your own files or from online searches. We're trying to make that as easy as quick as possible. So um, there's a section called order and sort and that just shows you all of the coverage and you can move around the coverage but I think I'm happy with 442 being at the end there because I want my print to be at the end. But I want to separate the online and print so I'm going to create a divider page, very similar to PowerPoint, anyone who is used to doing reports in PowerPoint uh, do you think of this as almost like a slide. Um, so yeah. I'm keeping this really plain, but if you are good at design, go for it with the colours. Um, there are options there. Um, so I'm just going to drag and drop that just before the 442 to separate your online and print coverage. I'm also going to separate the social and online coverage as well. So I'm just doing another, um, another divider page. Back to order and sort. And I'm just going to drop that into the right position again. I'm going to show you some of the social coverage shortly, just so you can see uh, the difference in the metrics with social and to online. But the divider pages, they're quite versatile, so I'm just going to show you a different way of using them, because it's not just colours, you can upload your own files as well. So right now, I'm going to add in a nice big campaign image into uh, one of these slides, because it will show off the rest of the campaign. You can, if you had like an infographic or a PowerPoint or something that you wanted to have as part of your report, you can input them into a divider page. They're, as I say, they're really versatile. Have a play around with them, but um, this is how I've added an image. And I'm gonna put that right up front of the report because it's a great image and um, it relates to the campaign and the client will recognize it. So yeah, they're really versatile and some of our customers use them in really interesting ways. So recommend having a play there. This is how the report looks so far. There was a button just on the top left of um, viewing full screen. And I clicked on that just so I wanted to see what my clients would see once I share it, you know. So this is it. Um, you can see all of the pieces of coverage. You saw the image at the top. See the background image, the clear, nice, clean image. Looks good. I've got a YouTube piece in there. The video plays within the report. So they don't even need to leave to go to YouTube, but they could if they want to. So I'm back in the edit view again because I just want to customise it a little bit more. Um, so I could change the order here by metric, that, but I'm quite happy with just moving the odd piece just so my halo pieces are at the top and I can do that in drag and drop in um, order and sort there. But as I say, if you, want, if you had a big book of like 200 pieces, you could um, use our, our ordering at the top. So this is a section called highlights at the top. Now, what I'm doing right now is just picking out my sort of halo pieces and just using the gold starring system. So they will be um, just popped up to the top. Um, they'll still be in the book in the order that I've set. But what we'll do is just take a small thumbnail of the piece and just put that at the top. So when anyone looks at the report, they will see those thumbnails at the top um, and just be like, okay, they the Halo PT has seen that. Just in case you have a really big book and they don't scroll all the way down. I know that that happens sometimes. There they are. Uh, that's what it will look like. 
So, in the big summary metrics, so the metrics that I've already talked about, they are all added together as totals at the top summary there in the tiles. Um, but all that I've done as well, you can add your own custom ones. So I've added like my own score because your client might have its own score. You can add those in at the top. You might also have like other metrics from social platforms you use. You can add those in if you want. So I went to the share section and there's a couple of options here. Now what I'm doing right now is downloading a CSV file. Um, and that's all of the metrics and all of the details of this report. So there's all of the URLs and the coverage clips and then all of the metrics there. Estimated coverage views, traffic, whether it's shared socially. Um, some people just need this information. So there you go. Um, also, there is a PDF section. I know a lot of people are used to attaching PDFs to email. I would say if you are doing this... Um, well, just try not to do this because we've created this PDF for print versions. What I would say is use this one, which is the links, shareable links, and pop those in your email. You can even customise them here, your, your domain links, your, your URLs, to your um, sort of company name. Um, and it's just really easy to share there. And you pop that in an email or if you're using Slack or whatever. Um, you send that link to your client and then they can view the report like this. This is what it looks like. The metrics, the highlights, campaign image, and then all of the coverage clips there. They can also click through um, on those and it will go through to the clips. This is what the PDF looks like. So very similar, but separated into pages. As you can see, it has been made for printing. So if you actually wanted to have a physical book, it's going to be high quality. That's why I was saying like, probably don't um, attach to an email. Um, but if you did attach it to an email, they can still click through on the PDF. It's still linkable, which is great. So that book is now in that My Book section. It's as quick as that. That's how quickly we've made a report. Um, but do you ever need to make a quarterly report? Yes, <laughs> I'm sure you do. Um, I used to have to do it. So I'm just showing you, we've got a little merge button. So if you look at the reports, you can just click merge and then click other ones that you want to sort of stitch together. I've selected three here, and then I'm gonna hit build merge book. And that's gonna put all of them together. So it's gonna add up all of the metrics. It's gonna, there you go. We've called it merge book, but you can change that title. 69 pieces of coverage, all of the totals as quickly as that. I know that job used to take me a very long time. I don't know about you. Um, so yeah, again, you can customise it and change the background colour. They will go, we will put them in the order as, the, as you added the books in that order. But again, if you use order and sort, um, the uh, selection on the left, you can, um, you can change the order yourself there too. Um, so yes, yeah, exactly the same as I showed you before. That book is now in my books, in that section. But I said that I wanted to show you this area, insights. So all of the coverage I've ever added to the account is in this insights section. So it's like 9,000 pieces for us. Um, but you can refine down by client. So these are all our clients on the left. So I'm going to select Adidas as the example. And... This is just really useful for anyone that needs to search for a piece of coverage. You could put a publication name in there, like what coverage have we had on the Daily Mail, for example. Or you can also search for any of the comments that I put in. So remember I put in spokesperson, so great insights at the end of the year. Did we get any pieces with spokespeople quotes for that analysis and that measurement at the end? As well as insights, you can build, build books from here. So I'm going to put in some dates so I can refine all of the Adidas coverage down by date from November to February. And we've got this, this amount, and I can just hit new book. And straight away, that's just gone straight into the edit view again. And I've got all of those clips that I selected from those re the, the date re refined there. Um, and then we've got 61 pieces of coverage, all of the metrics, and you're back into the process again of editing and customising and then sharing with your clients. It's really easy. Um, so yeah, end of year reports, no problem if all of your clips are in coverage book. Um, again, like some of our clients, some of our customers of coverage book have thousands of pieces of coverage. So uh, we know that it's saving them days of time for those end of year reports. 
But yeah, you can like go through this section for different insights. You can also reorder your coverage by like the highest amount of traffic, which is quite interesting at the end of the year to have a look. And um, this is our blog. There's a little icon at the top navigation, um, which you can click on. There's some really useful uh, posts in there from uh, me and LJ, Laura, who's my colleague, and we help you with metrics, measurement, all sorts of different things, how to like smash all your award entries. Um, and yeah, check, check in with the blog posts. Um, I have a podcast as well, which you will see little alerts about. And yeah, if you have any problems at all, just remember that there is the chat icon at the bottom in the right hand corner of the screen and David will be there or there's lots of articles. I hope that sends you on your way. Please let us know if you have problems and also how you find the tool. Good luck.